Hi, in this video we're going to be integrating x times the cinch of x squared with respect to x. And this is an example from my book, Super Powered Calculus. So cinch is also known as the hyperbolic sine function. So to do this problem, we're going to start by doing a u substitution. We're going to let u be what's inside the cinch function. So I'm going to let u be equal to x squared. And now we're going to take the derivative of both sides, but we're going to do it using what's, with what's called differential notation. So the derivative here is simply du. And then this is the power rule. We bring down the 2 and subtract 1 from the exponent, so it's pretty easy. 2x dx. Okay, here's the key step. This is where people have a hard time. There's a couple different ways to finish this problem. The most elegant way, in my view, is to basically make this look like what's in your integral. So you notice that there's no 2 up here, right? But there's a 2 here. So what we'll do now is we'll divide both sides by 2. These cancel. It's du over 2, but I'm going to write that as 1 half du. So this is 1 half du equals, and then this is x dx. And the reason I did that is because I have foresight. I know what's going to happen. I know that in the future, we're going to pull out that 1 half. And the future is about to happen right now. So this is equal to, so let's see, x dx, that's right here, right? That's going to be 1 half du. So it's going to be 1 half integral du. Right? So the only thing we've replaced at this point is the x and, and the dx. So what's left? Cinch of x squared. But we know what x squared is, right? We said that it was u. So this is cinch of u. Beautiful stuff. And the great thing is the derivative of cinch is cosinch. The derivative of cosinch is cinch. There's no negative signs involved. Uh, you know, the derivative of cosine is negative sign, but it doesn't work that way with hyperbolics. It's easier. You just get cinch and cosinch all day long, right? So when you integrate cinch, you just get cosinch. So this is equal to 1 half cosinch of u plus our arbitrary constant of integration, capital C. And we're almost done. There's one thing left to do. Our original variable in this problem was x. So we want to go back to the original variable. To do that, we look at our substitution, u equals x squared. So this is equal to 1 half cosinch x squared plus capital C. And that would be the final answer. Now let me just check, uh, make sure it's the correct answer. And it is. All is good. I hope this has been helpful. Stay strong, my friends.